Hi everyone, welcome back to the Iberian road trip and as promised I'm gonna show you around the camper finally I know but uh, yeah well here we are take a look on this side we have obviously the main feature being the couch which turns into the bed and um, yeah it's really comfortable it's um it's like a four inch memory foam it was it wasn't too expensive but uh, it came in a big size and we've cut it up to, to make the two pieces and there were some left over but we'll forget about that. The, the mechanism, if I move over here, basically underneath it slats and it just pulls out across, so you got, it pulls across to, to there, that supports it and the same at the other end, it pulls out out there as well. That's that. Um, well, underneath we have all our storage, so you know, pots, pans, cups, then we have a clothes box each, that's Christina's, full of stinky socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Not mine, true. full of beautifully clean clothes. <sighs> yeah, a um, bit more storage down here. So, we use this elastic band, this um, elastic band online, which is really strong. actually there's another seat which I use it's actually quite comfortable because you got you can stretch out and uh, I do my editing and things on the laptop whilst Christina's cooking or doing something else sketching as she does <laughs> um, and I've got some, some more hooks up here which hold just various bits and pieces hammock camera harness up there that's our camping chairs we haven't had them out yet, but it's just a good place to store them. They stay there. Uh, this is our curtain. It just separates from the front and back. Stops the light going through. Uh, we can we can open it up in the middle and go through in and out if we need to. Um, yeah, on, the, on this side we have our Waco fridge. It's quite full at the moment, so we don't need to go shopping. That's good. I think it's I think it's um 40, 40 liters around 40 liters mm. it's quite it's big enough for us it stores about three three four days normally a worth of food and drinks and that thing, that sort of thing um, so the kitchen we have two burner gas hob which is very handy big step up from our our last setup, which was just a standard camping gas, you know, refillable bottle kind of thing. So that's really nice. And on this side, we have a sink with now running water. How about that? Another big step up for us, which is fantastic. Here we just have loads of different kitchen bits, coffee, tea, port things and spices and cutlery. Up here, like kettle, egg poachers, can't forget those. Um, spare spider stove, obviously your Christmas whiskey, which you haven't drunk yet, you need to keep that in there. Um, other random bits, teaspoon of course. Um, yeah, we have this area, extra bit of worktop, really handy to have the extra space, or you can do it on there or on there, depending on which one you're using. Um, down here, we have, so there's two cupboards. They open up. I mean, they, they open up like that. But I'll, I'll show you this one because that's what you can see. Uh, that's where our, our fresh water tank with an inline pump pumps up to the tap. We have we have four of these fresh water tanks, so 40 liters of fresh water. And on this side, there's a wastewater one which just collects from the sink. And you empty it in grey water stations. We also store food and drinks in there. There's a whole cupboard space and a shelf at the back for more bits and pieces and food. That's that. Um, anything else? So we've got, got the fire extinguisher down there, need that. And 
this this is a, a 300 watt electric heater so you turn that on and you get pretty much instant heat that's supplied from the second battery which is really nice we haven't actually needed to use that yet because it's been really mild here in Spain but from tomorrow it's supposed to get really cold so maybe we'll need that um, what else what else um, I think that's about it for inside the camper and yeah I'll, I'll sh oh no one more thing one more thing so you, this is our gas storage. So we have a two point something kilo camping gas bottle. It's in there with its regulator and pipes to the outside for, for breathing. Um, yeah, that's new for us, so I can't tell you how long it will last. But we'll, we will see and keep you updated. I have to close that somehow. Oh, it's easier from outside. Entertaining to watch you struggle. <laughs> I'll do that later. <laughs> that's fine. Um, yeah, that, that's it really for the uh, for the camper conversion. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, I'll show you around the outside. Okay, so here we are. The outside. Well, half inside, half outside. <laughs> Starting here. This is our table. Famous table. Some people might remember it from years and years ago. That's that. The outside. So we have our high lift jack, as you know, any 4x4 should have one really, always handy. Uh, ladder, roof access, need that because we have quite a few bits up on the roof. Um, comes out in a minute if we move round. So obviously we've got our Two awnings, one from the back, that side, that pulls out. Here we have like two meters by two and a half meters, and at the back, two meters by one point something. It does the job. We haven't used them yet though, because uh, we've been inside all the time with the new camper. Um, Cooper Discovery tires, still doing us really well. Best tires I've had, love them so much. Um, around here, up, up the top we have Jerry cans, spare fuel, just 20 litres, just keep them up there if we're going far out into the mountains or something, then we'll fill those up before we go. Um, nothing on the front really, apart from my DIY uh, light deflectors because the ones we bought fell off, which is great. That's when you want to be outside making food and, and whatever. Recovery boards, again, any four does proper off roading, you're going to need some of those. Always come in handy when you get stuck, obviously, which uh, can, be, can be fun. <laughs> and a shovel, again, just another 4x4 four four aid to get you out of tricky situations. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel.